Hey, who's got a brand new rain suit? <laughs> Gotta get suited up to go outside. And let me show you what it's like out there. Bent. And where does that tree come from? Huge old cypress tree. Been here probably a hundred years. You can see its mates lost it over the years. There's another one. And another huge, big Bertha. You know, despite a branch falling on part of the fence, uh, squishing it down like an accordion, uh, everything seemed to manage, I managed pr pretty well. During the height of the storm, it was a challenge to keep up with the things that I needed to do. Uh, basically, I was out there digging drainage ditches <laughs> because it was coming down and kind of flooding the whole um, parking area, which is a, a small um, level spot, um, and the rest of my, my yard sort of goes up above that. And so I needed to, to cut a bit of a drainage ditch so that it didn't completely swamp that area and flood my roses, which is one of the things that was very important to me. And I enjoy that stuff. To tell you the truth, when the wind blows, and I think we got gusts into the 70s and probably higher than that, um, trees were whipping around. And these are like 100-year-old cypress trees, and they are just whipping. It's just amazing. I find, and this is probably a, a leftover from my windsurfing days back in my um, late 30s. No, let me see. I started in the early 30s mid-30s, late-30s, that whole decade. <laughs> it was just insane for windsurfing and you know I would I would actually literally circle the San Francisco Bay looking for good wind and this would be like every afternoon I would go into work early you know like it like well break it down so I could get out in the the afternoon to 2.30, 3 o'clock and have four or five hour windsurfing session. This is every day, seven days a week and on weekends, you know, they would be longer sessions. <laughs> so what I get is high wind fever, basically. And it's this, this um, exhilaration, um, can't hold still, uh, almost obsessively checking to see what the weather's doing. Um, now that you've got internet, you can check out what the, what the rainstorms are doing online and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I just love to be outside in it. 